Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today uh, I will going to show you uh, how to insert a grid uh, title, a legend and other elements in a, uh, a map using uh, QGIS. Uh, so to do this, uh, first we have to add the map in the uh, QGIS window here I am going to add a, a watershed So these two uh, shape files are the uh, watershed and the uh, channel. Uh, let's change the channel, the color of the channel into a blue color. Most of the time streams are expressed in a blue color. So this one is blue, apply. Okay, now the the stream colors are changed and uh, for the watershed area, just on symbology, uh, you can change uh, the item prop, the uh, layer properties. For example, for our case, let us make it some yellow, apply okay so this is a watershed so i'm going to insert grid title and uh, scale bar north arrow for uh, this watershed so to do this uh, click on the print create print layout now give a name for the new layer the new print layout so this is the new print layout here uh, click on the add maps add map so just right click on it and drag so uh, uh, I'm going to add first the grids so to insert a grid here, there is a grid option. Uh, then click on the plus icon, uh, modify grid. So uh, here first, the grid type is solid. If you make it solid, uh, it will uh, cross our map. The uh, solid lines will be crossed our uh, areas, our map. So let us make it uh, frame and annotation only so I'm um, just making the uh, interval uh, into 0 0.2 degree So here, uh, click on the draw coordinators. Uh, you have to uh, click on it. Here, the coordinates are first uh, uh, inserted as a UTM. Now I'm changing them into uh, geographic coordinate system. So you can also change the font of the font into Times New Roman. And the size of the numbers, you can also adjust the sizes. Uh, the color of the font. So I'm um, just... Uh, okay.
here if you want to make this uh, the for example if you see the right the coordinate the annotations then the grid values in the right are horizontal so you can uh, change into vertical uh, which is parallel to the uh, uh, frame the boundary frame or the uh, the line uh, so it's now changed to uh, vertical orientation so here you can make it as degree minute and second so first it was as decimal now it's changed into uh, degree minute and uh, second now the grid systems are adjusted already i'm going to add the first the title the uh, map title so the map title is watershed or this go to add item then add dynamic text just uh, layout name uh, uh, okay new item property okay then here uh, rename the title as watershed for uh, our tutorial my tutorial case i'm going to give a name as watershed because this is watershed you can put in any place so uh, you can also uh, adjust the properties of uh, the title So you can adjust or change the font uh, to times in the most commonly used font is times in Roman. So I'm going to change the font as times in Roman. Okay, times uh, new Roman. Enter. And also the size is 10. Uh, so I'm going to change it into uh let's increase the uh, uh, size uh i think this one is visible oh uh, yeah so the title of the map is watershed uh, it is it's better to put the title in the center so next to that uh, uh, let us add uh, the Norzaro add item uh, then uh, Norzaro add Norzaro So this one is the northern option. Okay. Now adjust the size of the northern row, the arrow. You can put in any place. Okay. And let's put the northern row in this. Yeah, it's visible, I think. Uh, next to that, let us uh, insert the scale bar. Uh, this, yeah, you can put the scale bar. Uh, yeah, it's on the right place.
here also you can change the property of uh, the scale bar okay so uh, instead of single box let us use as double box okay the uh, level for unit is kilometer yeah it's okay uh, good okay the now the we are going to uh, add the legend of cmap so add legend okay click here and here there is an open space uh, this place yeah it's good to the right place to uh, put the legend here so insert the title for example let's give a name the title as legend yeah you can uh, adjust the uh, size and the font of uh, these legends also uh, so to do this uh, go to font and text format here change uh, font into times new roman yeah click uh, let us make it as bold yeah bold yeah the size we have also increased the size of uh, the text now we have already added the main elements required in the map layout so the next step will be exporting this map from the QGIS into uh, you you it may be as a PDF or it may be as image file you can export the uh, the map as PDF or as a JPEG so uh, to do this uh, go to on the uh, layout option Okay, if you want to add, by the way, if you want to add the logo, for example, the QGIS logo, just you can uh, add it. Uh, go to the uh, add uh, northern row option, and you will find uh, here the the QGIS logos. So to export the map, uh, export as PDF and export as jpeg image export for example this one is export as pdf uh, there is also an option above here uh, export as image so now the the map is exported as a pdf file uh, thank us for uh, watching my tutorial so don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much